tissue. We know that two types of organism are present on the earth. These organisms are unicellular and multicellular organism. In unicellular organisms, a single cell performs all basic functions. For example, in amoeba, a single cell carries out movement, intake of food and respiratory gases, respiration and excretion. But in multicellular organisms, there are millions of cells. Each specialized function is taken up by a different group of cells. For example, in human beings, muscle cells contract and relax to cause movement, nerve cells carry messages, blood flows to transport oxygen, food, hormones and waste materials etc. And these different activities performed by different group of cells. This means that a particular function is carried out by a cluster of cells at a definite place in the body. This cluster of cells called a tissue is arranged and designed so as to give the highest possible efficiency of function or we can say that tissue is a group of cells similar in structure and function. One question rising in your mind is, are plants and animals made of same types of tissues? No, it is not made of same type of tissue because plants are stationary or fixed. They don't move but animals on the other hand move around in search of food, mates and shelter. Most of the tissues they have are supportive which provides them with structural strength but in animals no special types of tissue are present in it and so on.